I hope you all enjoyed the unveiling of the Tiki Bar. So it will be uncovered now until kind of the end of September, beginning of October, depending on the weather. As you can see, the roof isn't looking its best. I do need to put a new thatch on the roof, but currently Little Grass Shack are out of stock, so I might have to source something else or find out when they're gonna be back in stock. So apart from putting a new thatch on the roof and probably putting a few bits out that I've forgotten about, I also need to sand and re-oil decking. And I'm hoping to pick up a few new plants for the garden next week. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And I'll also link my Tiki Bar decor video. I do have a dedicated playlist to my Tiki Bar as well, which I'll also list below for you. So we ended up picking up a couple of plants. The first one being a forest flame. I already have a couple of these, but they're in the central island at the back, so you can't really see them. So I thought it would be nice to put one here in the border as I do have a little bit of a bare patch where there's not much growing. And the other plant I picked up is a little rhododendron, which I plan on keeping in a pot on the patio for now. Apparently this one can deal with pretty much all weather conditions. And the variety is Nova Zembla. So I thought that would look um, nice and tropical, nice bright pink flowers and it's already in bud, so hopefully it won't be too long before those flowers come out. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put it just yet, but as you can see, I've got quite a few pots with not much in at the moment. Obviously this one's gonna need a fairly decent sized pot. Also, since I last filmed, I have done a little bit of pruning, so there's a little bit more light coming in from the back of the garden, and the red robin has been pruned down a little bit. At the back there you can see some laurel which is in my neighbour at the back's garden and they don't want that trimmed unfortunately which is a shame really because that's where the sun sets over in that corner so I won't be getting much evening sun but hopefully just by trimming a few branches over there that'll let a bit more light in in the afternoon. I also ended up trimming down one of the corder lines it was completely mushy pretty much all the way down to the bottom so it may well reshoot from the bottom the big one's okay although as you can see it's not really looking great but I think there is some new growth at the top so that will be fine we've got the first new leaf on the banana again not looking amazing but hopefully in about a month's time they'll have a couple of leaves the middle ones aren't quite as advanced as the one in the border and that's because they don't get quite as much sun. My Lily Hotel California is on its way. I will be very excited to see that. I'm actually having some friends over today for some cocktails for my birthday, which is next week. So I do need to give the garden a bit of a tidy, hopefully put up some festoon lights, get all the um, patio furniture cushions out and put some stuff back in the bar. We did have some really strong winds the other day so I had to put some of it um, away just for a couple of days. And also I'll put the deck chairs back on the decking. Um, if I've got time later, I'll do a quick little video of what the garden's looking like and I'll add it to the end of the video. But thanks so much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments, leave them below. Take care, happy gardening, and I'll see you all soon.